guys today we're going to talk about linear rails selecting the correct linear rails and blocks for your project can be a difficult decision to make I recommend you do some research and gather as much information as you can linear rails and blocks are a big investment so you want to make sure you make the right choice for your particular build whether that be a CNC router plasma or a CNC mill conversion there are several brands available for linear rails I have also noticed there are several knockoffs available for the more popular brands like THK and Hywin. The knockoffs may feel fine and perform well, however, they have to cut costs somewhere in order to offer a cheaper product. I have concerns about rail treatment, hardness, consistency, and durability. These knockoffs may be fine for your project but just make sure you know that's what you're paying for. I'm going to invest a lot of time and money in this conversion, so I want to go with what I feel is the best quality rails and blocks. I have chosen to go with Hywin rails and blocks for this conversion. Hywin is a Taiwan-based company and have been manufacturing linear motion products since 1989. They seem to be a popular choice for these type conversions. There are two types of linear rails suitable for CNC machinery the ball and roller type. Now within these types, High One offers different series, but I'll be looking at two specifically. The HG series is a heavy ball roller linear guideway and is designed for higher load capacity and rigidity. Uh, it features equal load ratings in radial, reverse radial, and lateral, lateral directions. Uh, they're also self-aligning uh, to absorb installation errors. The HG series are commonly used for milling machines, lathes, CNC routers, and plasma cutters. The HG series uses a circular arc groove, which provides a wide 45 degree contact width between the balls and the groove raceway. This allows large permissible loads and high rigidity. The RG series is a roller type linear guideway. The roller series offers super high rigidity and very high load capacities. The rollers have a greater contact area than the ball type. The load is also distributed over a larger area which also extends the life, about two times that of the HG series. The RG series are commonly used on larger CNC machines heavy-duty cutting and grinding machines where the heavier loads and rigidity is needed. When it comes to choosing the correct size, the recommended rule of thumb if you're using ball screws is to use the same size as your ball screws. In my case, I would choose 20 millimeter rails. But don't be fooled by the small size of these linear rails. As the 15 millimeter HG series rails and blocks have a static load rating of 16.97 kilonewtons or 3,815 pounds. The basic load rating is determined by the amount of force needed to cause permanent deformation. The dynamic load rating is normally less at 11.38 kilonewtons or 2,550 pounds. Now, I will not be getting anywhere near these load ratings and with this machine the cutting force applied will only be about one-eighth of this. Uh, in most applications where four blocks will be used the load is distributed to each block. Even still it is common to see most machines over engineered with oversized rails and blocks. Now I'll be using 15 millimeter rails on the X and Y axis with 20 millimeter rails on the z-axis. The 20 millimeter rails will provide a little more support for the added weight of the head assembly which is approximately 150 pounds. There are two main types of blocks, a flange type and a square type. The square type comes in high and low profile. The flange type blocks have top, bottom, and both mounting options. The square type blocks are threaded for top mounting. Blocks are classified in five different accuracy classes from normal to ultra precision. 
each subsequent class offering higher accuracy up to 8 tenths. Along with the accuracy classes, there is also an option for three different preloads. By adding more preload to the blocks, you can improve accuracy and rigidity. A medium preload is used when high precision is required. Another thing to keep in mind is the accuracy of the rails is only as good as the installation. The tolerance for height and parallelism is based on rail length. Having a CNC router or plasma with a long side of 2500 millimeters, about 8 feet, will require the rails to be within 31 micrometers or a thousandth of an inch for normal accuracy rails. The same machine with the ultra precision class is 5 micrometers or a little less than 2 tenths. Out of tolerance insulations will reduce the life and accuracy. Don't think that you can build a CNC router frame out of 2x4s, install linear rails, and get super accurate finished parts. Be realistic about the accuracy of your machine and the accuracy you want to achieve. Higher accuracy guideways will come at a higher cost, and for most applications, the normal accuracy guideways is all that is needed. Well, that wraps up this video. Hopefully this information, along with your own research, will help you make an informed decision if you choose to do a linear rail conversion. Now High One has a great video that explains the different type of guideways and how load ratings and service life is calculated. You can find it by clicking on a link I'll place on the screen somewhere. Also, I want to send out a special thanks to Motion Constrain for providing custom cut to length linear rails and blocks. Uh, best of all, they offer free shipping, so stop by and check out Motion Constrained. I'll post a link in the video or the video description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.